Hi, welcome to the protractor training series. In this video, we are going to discuss what is protractor and how it will help you out. So protractor is nothing but an end-to-end -end test framework that was built for automating the AngularJS applications. It was built by the AngularJS folks and it will help you automate your AngularJS applications. You do not have to touch your code or you do not have to simulate or emulate anything in order to use this protractor tool. I am going to show you a sample AngularJS application. So I have created a sample code here. I am going to open this uh, test AngularJS.htm page. So this is how a sample AngularJS application would look like. So I have a text box here. I am going to type something here. So as you type here, you can observe that the, this particular space is been filled with whatever that we are typing here. So let me inspect this element. And here you can see that inside this input box, I have a directive. This, this is known as directive from AngularJS or of AngularJS. And you can see there is a directive called ng hyphen model. So anytime that you find ng hyphen, you can be sure that it is an AngularJS directive. And name is the value of that directive. And if you observe or inspect this element, here you can see that I have embedded this in a span tag. And here you can see that the value is coming from the ng hyphen model directive. So let me try to type something here. Let me uh, type word. And here you can see that the value has been changed. So this is nothing but a sample AngularJS application. Let me show you the HTML code. So this is how the sample AngularJS application would look like. So any application, any AngularJS application would be written with the starting tag that is ng hyphen app. And inside that you will write all your AngularJS code. Here, the first line, what I have written is enter your name, the same that you can see here. And ng hyphen model is what is inside this input tag. And the binding value comes to here. So that is a sampler AngularJS application that I wanted to show. The next video, we are going to see how we can set up the, the protractor environment. Thanks for watching this video.